Hello, this is Anu Venkatesh from the Hoshida Lab at the Division of Liver Diseases, Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York. Today, I'm presenting the visual abstract for our paper by King and colleagues titled, A Genomic and Clinical Prognostic Index for Hepatitis C-Related Early Stage Cirrhosis that Predicts Clinical Deterioration, just published in GUT. In this paper, we address the clinical problem that hepatitis C-related cirrhosis is increasing and overtaxing the medical resources for regular follow-up and hepatocellular carcinoma surveillance. This leads to unsatisfactory care for the cirrhotic population. For instance, in one previous study, more than 80% of new HCC cases identified outside of the regular cancer surveillance program in the U.S. were diagnosed at more advanced stages. In the past years, we have seen an emergence of new direct-acting antivirals targeting the hepatitis C viral proteins, with improved rates of cures approaching 100% and limited side effects. However, although eradication of the hepatitis C virus reduces disease progression, it does not eliminate the risk of lethal complications, including HCC, especially when advanced liver fibrosis or cirrhosis are already present. Numerous efforts have been attempted to develop clinical prognostic indicators. However, their performance is limited, especially in highly prevalent patients with early stage cirrhosis. Several molecular prognostic predictors have also been developed using gene signatures or DNA polymorphisms, but further validation is needed and none of them have been adapted to a clinically applicable assay. To tackle this challenge, we aim to develop a molecular and clinical prognostic index, specifically targeting early stage HCV cirrhosis patients who lack clinical prognostic indicators. We developed a prognostic index consisting of our previously reported gene expression signature of liver tissue and readily available clinical tests, namely serum bilirubin and platelet counts. The prognostic index was trained in our training cohort of 216 patients with early stage HCV related cirrhosis. The gene signature test was implemented in an assay platform specifically designed for clinical use, which is available to anybody upon request. The molecular and clinical prognostic index was successfully validated in another independent cohort of 145 early stage HCV cirrhosis patients with various clinical outcomes including hepatic decompensation, overall death, liver related death, and all liver related adverse events with hazard ratios as high as 7.36. So how might these encouraging findings impact clinical practice in the foreseeable future? The prognostic index may help prioritize a subset of patients with high-risk prognostic prediction for closer clinical follow-up to detect the development of lethal complications earlier. Also, it is important to note that this strategy could allow improved allocation of limited available resources by alleviating the burden of regular monitoring of the entire cirrhosis patient population. In addition, patients with high-risk prognostic predictions will be the best targets for preventative intervention with antifibrotic or cancer preventative therapies. On behalf of all of the authors, we would like to thank you for watching the visual abstract of the paper entitled, A Genomic and Clinical Prognostic Index for Hepatitis C-Related Early Stage Cirrhosis that Predicts Clinical Deterioration, by King and colleagues appearing in GUT.